I said, not anymore. <laughs> I was watching ESPN the other night. Why is Philly so crazy? Honestly, he's amazing. Billy, Billy, you're so crazy. He reacts for all of you to see. Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's cracking? What's bracking? It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy. And we back and we back and we back with another one. Y'all know what I'm doing because y'all read the title. All right, this is George Carlin's hilarious stand up. Don't know exactly what he's going to talk about, but I know that it's hilarious according to the title. <laughs> but this is sent to me by a subscriber on Twitter. So you guys want to see me react to it, so I'm bringing it to you today, right now, man. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Please be a part of the So Crazy family by hitting that subscribe button. Um, follow me on all my social media links are right there. Send me a message, let me know what you want me to react to next, and I have it up for you at some point, like I always say. But enough talking. Let's find out what George Carlin was talking about with this whole hilarious stand-up joint. Of uh, unrelated thoughts here tonight, non sequiturs, a group of jokes that have nothing to do with each other. So don't look for a theme, okay? Can I hear a little more house? I'm not hearing myself as well as I'd like, but I guess it's all right. Yeah, and some of these things you might know about, that the new roach spray, there's a new roach spray on the market. It doesn't kill the roaches, but it fills them with self-doubt as to whether or not they're in the right house. <laughs> Yo, that should be a thing. Here's a little fun you can have. Go into a gift shop and ask for your gift. <laughs> Just tell them I saw your sign, I came in for mine. <laughs> Save you people the trouble of looking for me. Doesn't impress them, but it keeps them on their toes. Some people see the glass as half empty. Some people see the glass as half full. I see the glass as too big. <laughs> ah, very nice. Depending on how you look at it, it could be too big. He's right. Here's something you don't hear too much. Dad, you really ought to drink more. <laughs> The wisest man I ever knew taught me something I never forgot. But although I never forgot it, I never quite memorized it either. So what I'm left with is having heard something really wise that I can't recall. <laughs> Do you ever have chicken at lunch, and then you have chicken again at dinner, and you wonder if the two chickens knew each other? Those are, those are like some hit blunts facts right there. Like, it's just like you hit the blunt, just be like, oh. And for the record, Billy, you so crazy, does not smoke, never smoked a day in his life. All right. I'm just saying just to, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it just to say it, because I really don't know what it's like to hit a blunt. Like, all jokes aside, I really don't know. But I feel like that's one of those, like, whoa, facts. <laughs> You know you have a drinking problem when you walk into a bar in Pittsburgh and wake up in Switzerland with a clown suit on. And this is something you might have read in the newspapers. This was in every news source uh, last six or eight months ago. Like a, uh, this is about that census they had in the year 2000. They actually said in the newspaper that uh, during that census, 1.6% of the population was not counted. How do they know that? Yeah. I think they left something out of that story. Yeah. Did I get out of jury duty? It's easy. Tell the judge the truth. Tell him you make a terrific juror because you can spot guilty people just like that. <laughs> Tell him it all depends. Tell him it all depends on how far apart their eyes are. You'll be on that bus before you can say justice sucks. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I was in a public restroom the other day. I had to use the handicapped stall. When I came out of the stall, some guy said to me, are you handicapped? I said, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was watching ESPN the other night. They had on the women's 200 meter breaststroke. Well, I had never seen a woman with 200 meter breasts. So I stayed tuned yeah, most of the evening. You know you're in a small town when the restaurant closes at lunch so the waitress can go home and eat. Wow. Suppose wow. a guy is really, really stupid and he becomes senile. How do you know? That'll be something you could ask a guy like that. Here's a little fun you can have. 
Stand on line at the bank for a really long time. And when you finally get up to the window, just ask for a change of a nickel. <laughs> they actually call other tellers over to look at you. And this is true, this is true. In 1830, in England, William Huckison became the first human being ever to be hit by a railroad train. Wouldn't that make you feel kind of stupid? I mean, here for thousands of years, we have no trains. Suddenly we have trains, you get hit. Don't you think he should have been able to keep track of just one train? I'm sure true. everyone knew exactly where it was. Apparently not. You know you're in the wrong store when you look on the wall and see one of your personal checks displayed as the reason they don't take personal checks. <laughs> if you had only one tooth left, would you brush it for a really long time? Just to be on the safe side. Here's how you get rid of counterfeit no. money. Nobody knows. You get rid of counterfeit money, put it in the collection plate at church. Damn. They, they don't care. They give it to blind people. It's true. It's true. My mother was a woman of rare common sense. She once said to me, if the shoe fits, get another one just like it. I've tried to live my life that way. There's something, uh, a lot of people don't know this. George Washington's brother, was the uncle of our country. <laughs> tell, that, tell that to your kid. Tell him to tell the teacher that. He'll be home way before three o'clock. <laughs> you know, it'd be a lot of fun to be a contestant on Jeopardy and just never buzz in. Just stand yeah. there half an hour staring at the other two people. <laughs> Wave to Alex. Wave, hi Alex. Your family would be mortified. More fun you can have. Go into a gun store, buy a gun, then buy some ammunition, then ask them if they have any ski masks. <laughs> Do you ever notice in some hotels they give you a little sewing kit? You know what I do? I sew the towels together. <laughs> sew the sheets to the drapes. Let them know you've been there. Sew a button on a lampshade. Let them figure it out. It's certainly none of your concern. Wow. Wow. My guy, George Carlin. Hilarious stand-up. Like I said, this was sent to me in a message on Instagram. I don't, I get my messages confused now, man. I get so many messages and comments of requests like all day long now. No complaints, because I love it, man. I appreciate you guys' support so much. But that was the first time I seen that. So, and it's rare too, because I feel like I've gone through a lot of George Carlin stand up, but I'm pretty sure I haven't done everything. So you guys continue to drop those comments and to send me messages and links and stuff of what you guys want to see me react to next. Like I said, this is the Comedy Sunday series where nothing but comedy stand up reactions all day long Sunday to bring some laughter to the end of your week and to start the new one with the same energy because that's what we like to promote here man I appreciate your guys support man follow me on all my social media links are right here hit the subscribe button I have a patreon account in the description if you want to donate help the channel out um that's the quickest way to do it if there's a um re reaction video that's showing me to do a whole lot faster that's the quickest way to do it right there but regardless I appreciate everyone that's a part of the so crazy family man if it wasn't for y'all would not be doing this for real, for real. I say it every time because I mean it. I mean it, I mean it, man. It's your boy Billy, you so crazy, and I see you on the next video, man. I'm out this thing.